Hi everyone in third year we will start with agartha tantra chapter first before going into the concept first we should learn what is agartha tantra it is a branch of science which deals with the signs and symptoms and management of poisoning due to snakes scorpions spiders and other animals and it is termed as agartha tantra as we all know that we have entered the second phase of covid 19 we should follow preventive measures in order to stop its wide spread we should be more careful than previous and should maintain social distancing and wear a mask and should keep us sanitizing and also educate people about its adverse effect and how it's dangerous to people so always keep a mask and wash your hands before touching anything and maintain a safe distance who are sick so let's enter into the topic in this subject we will see the chapter 1 agatha tantra that is definition derivation of visha and agatha tantra agatha tantra is one of the eight branches of ayurveda that is ashtanga ayurveda derivation of agatha tantra agatha tantra is derived from combination of two words agatha and tantra gada means roga or visha that is the word gada refers to a disease discomfort pain or poison whereas the word agada refers to the absence of roga or disease synonyms of agada are bheshaja bhaishajya aushadham and jayuh what is tantra the science through which positive health is preserved is called as tantra according to acharya priyavarta sharma he has described nirukti of agada tantra as it produces disorders of indriyas is called as gada and as it produces vishada in people it is called as visha those medicaments which fights the above are termed as agada definition of agada tantra agada tantra nama sarpa kita luta mushikaadi dashta visha vyanjanardha vividha visha samyoga upashamnardha this means the branch of science which deals with the signs and symptoms and management of poisoning due to snakes scorpions spiders and other animals is termed as agatha tantra now we will see what are the synonyms of agatha tantra vishagara vairodhika prashamana and this name was given by acharya charaka according to ashtanga hridaya it is termed as damstra chikitsa according to amarakosha it is called as jangulika and according to harita it is called visha chikitsa or visha tantra derivation of visha the word visha is derived from the root visha by adding ka pratyaya to it the term visha means to get fully occupied now the definition of visha is the substance which cause vishada to the word is called as visha or the substance which cause soreness to people is termed as visha we all know that vishada means soreness the synonyms to this word visha are visha garala neela halahal bhugar darad etc now we will see the scope of agatha tantra the protection of healthy individuals from poisons management of individuals afflicted to poisons clinical toxicology means it deals with the diseases caused by abnormal exposure to chemical substances and it also deals with forensic toxicology means dealing with harmful effects of chemicals on human body in medico legal aspects visha utpatti we all might have known this story while the devatas and asuras have fought for amrut then first visha has came during samudra manthana the gods and the demons churned the kshira sagara to obtain amrita anyhow even before amrita evolved a ferocious looking person who was ma- magnificent with aura and who had four fangs yellowish brown hair and fairy eyes emerged he was named visha as the whole world became distressed and afraid after seeing him he discarded his real physical form and since then resides in his deceptive form in inorganic and organic substances 
and he was cursed by brahma so in this pic you could see see the gods and the demons churning now we will see visha prabhava classification visha prabhava bheda again based on karma it is divided into three types first is dahaka shobhaka and vata prakopaka again this vata prakopaka is divided into six types mastishk prabhavaka hridaya prabhavaka fufus prabhavaka mahastrotras prabhavaka pranasthanadi prabhavaka sushumna prabhavaka and based on sthana these are divided into two types sthanika that is local and sarvadaihika that is general poison after entering into the body first vitiates the rakta leading to tingling or pricking sensation all over the body further it causes red colored patches on skin sweating severe aches pains all over the body so the body will become unusual symptoms the power or potency of the tridosha also gets harmed by mixing up with blood which is vitiated by visha thus leads to death a strong poison can become an excellent medicine if it is properly administered if good medicine is not properly administered then it can become a strong poison we should remember this visha pranahara kriya after entering the body the visha fastly reaches every minute part of the body the poison first vitiates the blood then all three doshas and later enters the heart vitiating its normal functions leading to death vidha has all its gunas opposite to ojo gunas hence it vitiates vata adi doshas rapidly and cause immediate death visha and ojas are completely opposite to each other in visha we have lagu whereas in oja we have guru in visha we have ruksha whereas in oja we have snigdha here we have tikshna whereas in oja we have mrudu ushna in visha and shita in oja sukshma in visha and bahala in oja ashukari in visha and prasada in oja vyavahi in visha and sthira in oja and so on the visha gunas contains 10 gunas that is laghu means light ruksha means dry ashu means quick in action vishadam means non slimy vyavahi means quickly absorbed tikshana means shock vikasi means depressant sukshma means minute ushna means hot anirdishya rasa means tasteless according to acharyas these 10 vishagunas are different according to charaka the 10 vish vishagunas are tikshna ushna ruksha vishada vyavahi ashu laghu vikasi sukshma anirdeshya rasa while according to sushruta those 10 vishagunas are tikshna ukshna ruksha vishada vyavahi ashu laghu vikasi sukshma apaki but according to vagbhatta those tenor tikshna ushna ruksha vishada vyavahi ashu laghu vikasi sukshma apaki or avyakta rasa now we will see what are those 10 vishagunas and their action laghu and their action is that is vishakarma is dushya chikitsa means it is difficult to treat ruksha and its karma is vata prakopaka ashu or ashukari and its karma is destroys the tissues quickly vishada and its karma is does not adhere to any place vyavahi and its karma is spreads within the whole body quickly before undergoing digestion tikshna and its karma is it causes moha that means delusion and breaks marma bandha vikasi and its karma is it slows and destroys functioning of dosha dhatu and mala sukshma and its effects is enters into all the organs at the minute level and causes abnormalities ushna and this causes pitta and rakta prakopaka anirdesha or avyakta rasa or avipaka and its karma is non perceivable due to indistinctive taste or difficult to expel due to indigestibility vishagati gati means movement vishagati refers to movement of visha there are two types of visha 
ఫస్ట్ ఈజ్ జంగమ విష మీన్స్ హ్యావ్ అధోగతి డౌన్వర్డ్ మూమెంట్ ఇన్ ద బాడీ స్థావర విష హ్యావ్ ఉర్ధ్వగతి మీన్స్ అప్వర్డ్ మూమెంట్ ఇన్ ద బాడీ జంగమ విష హ్యాస్ క్వాలిటీస్ సిమిలర్ టు పిత్తదోష హెన్స్ ఇట్ మూవ్స్ అప్వర్డ్స్ వేర్ యాస్ స్థావర వీక్ష హ్యాస్ క్వాలిటీస్ సిమిలర్ టు కఫదోష అండ్ డ్యూ టు దిస్ ఇట్ మూవ్స్ డౌన్వర్డ్స్ డ్యూ టు ఆపోజిట్ గుణాస్ అండ్ గతీస్ దే కెన్ బీ యూస్డ్ అగేన్స్ట్ ఈచ్ అదర్ దట్ ఈస్ స్థావర విష పెసిఫై జంగమ విష అండ్ వైస్ వర్సా